Shalom, chaverim. It's Rubisa and Tova. And today, in our movement video, we want to talk about what happened at Har Sinai when Hashem gave us the Torah, when Hashem gave us the Aseret Hadibro. Now, he wrote onto the Lucho all the words. There were a lot of words in the Aseret Hadibro. This is just a few of the words written down, and you can see we can't even fit them. And here it only says, Anochi Hashem. I am Hashem, but it was a lot, a lot more than that that he said. And because we are not Hashem and we cannot write all the words onto the Luchot, often when people are showing a picture of the Luchot, it looks just like this, where instead of all of those words, there's just a few letters. Right. And how many letters do we have on here? Should we count them? Echad. Like the Aser had he brought one for each of the things that Hashem said. So, well, we, Tobasara, Rubisa, and you at home, we are going to turn into each of the letters that are on this type of the Lucho. But before we start, let's warm ourselves up. Sitting down with our code word. Ready? Crisscross applesauce. Code word. Shalom. All right. And now, do you feel calm? Yep. Let's begin with Aleph. So as you see, Aleph has two legs not near each other and two arms up in the air. Something like, can you show us an Aleph, Tomasara? Now, we are going to sing in a really loud voice the sound that Aleph makes. You ready? Ah! No, Papa Sarah. Aleph doesn't talk. He doesn't make a sound at all. He sounds like this. When he has vowels come and help him, then he speaks it by himself. Aleph is just like this, legs stretched apart, arms apart. Good job being an Aleph. What was next? After Aleph comes? Bet. Bet. And Bet is sitting on his bottom with his legs out straight and his arms up. Now, Bet has a belly button. Do you have a belly button too? Yep. All right. And what sound is Bet going to make? Ba. 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 Stretch those arms out. Stretch those legs out. Ba. Gimel has his back straight and one leg there and one leg there and his arms reaching up. So we shall now be a Gimel. What you're going to do is you're going to put your legs out and you're going to be like this. And then what sound does Gimel make? G. 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 Stretching into that Gimel, being the Gimel. G. Good job! After Gimel comes Dalit, and Dalit is also standing up straight with yeah. his arms out in front of him and his head, well the back of his head, you can see leaning back right there. So, head back, arms straight, and what sound does a Dalit make? Alright, that was great. We've done Aleph and Bet and Gimel and Dalit. And now it's time for Hey. And, well, Hey, you can't see someone in this picture, but Hey has two pieces. They talk to each other, and when they see each other, they say, Hey! hey. Do you want to do it together? I would love your help to be a Hey. So why don't you go like it in, a, in like a ring shape? All right, so this part of the hay looks a little bit like the dalid that's above him, but you see that it is round. I on recommend the top. using a, per, a um, taller person to do the upper one and then a shorter person to do the And there's a smaller one. piece right there. And they don't actually touch. 
but they work together. And when they work together, what do they say? It's really fun being with somebody else. We laugh a lot together. <laughs> and that is a hey. We've done all of one side. We've done one, two, three, four, five. Aleph, Beth, Gimel, Dalit, Hey. Echad, Shtayim, Shadosh, Arba, Chamesh. And now we're up to Vav. And Vav just stands up straight and tall. So you're going to stand your body up straight, arms by your side, stretch your neck up high. And Vav says, <laughs> It's fun how it feels in your mouth to say it on your lips. All right, that was a good Vav. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zayin. And Zayin stands straight, but he has a much bigger head. So for Zayin, we're going to put our hands on top of our head. Stretch your shoulders out and hands on top of your head. Stretch your shoulders out and Zion makes a sound kind of like a bumblebee and he says All right, that was a Zion. What's next? Bet. Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zayin, Chet. Now Chet, you can see he's got his arms, well, he's, he's got his like legs a, down. He's kind of like a hay, except those two are attached. So there's two different ways we could do this. One, Tova, Sarah, and I could use teamwork and hold our hands, and we could be a Chet like this and say, Or you could bend down and touch the floor. And then you would be a chet. <laughs> All right. My favorite letter. Now it is Tova Sarah's favorite letter because <clears throat> tet is the first letter in Tova. Now I also have a hard time doing this letter, but Tova Sarah is very good at it. As you can see, well, Tet's bottom is on the ground and his legs are in the air and his arms are in the air. So Tova Sarah, can you show us how Tet goes? You sit on your bottom. Like, oh, then you put your legs up in the air, and then you curve your hands in. And there we have a tet. And what sound does tet make? Good job being a tet. Aleph, bet, game. The letters. Dalit. Hey, Vav, Zayin, Chet, Tet, and now we get to Yud! Yes, my favorite letter. It is my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. But on this, it's my favorite. And you see Yud, he is itsy bitsy. He is taller than everybody, smaller than everyone else. So you're going to put yourself into a tiny ball. Knees on the ground. No. Elbows on the ground. Head in the middle. And Yud says, Yeah. Now we made it to the first Esser of the letters of the Aleph Bet and all of the Otiot, all of the letters that are on the Luchot, the way that some people write them, but not the way Hashem wrote them. So now we're going to go back to the position we started in, crisscross applesauce. Or you can do it whatever way it comes Or from. lotus position, true. And we're going to end with our special word. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom Kaveri. Kaveri.